Alright, I've got a little downtime, so I'm making some videos. This one is about RV life and pets. Should you have pets in an RV? Well, let's talk about that. First of all, I have no real strong opinion either way, other than I think pets should be treated like they're part of your family. So just because your life changes to where maybe you're leaving stick and bricks behind to go to an RV temporarily or full-time, uh, you shouldn't just ditch your pets, you know, treat them maybe like kids or something, you know, you wouldn't just ditch your kids, so um, that's really my only strong opinion, but there are positives and there are negatives to having pets with you on your journey in an RV, so let's talk about them. Number one is pets are escape artists, you know. It's kind of like having prisoners in a prison where they're watching the warden, they're watching, you know, the guards, they're getting their tempo down. I guarantee you at one point you're going to have your door, you're going to open it, and your cat's going to blaze right through it and get out if you have cats. And dogs are the same way. So you have to be really aware of that and try to do things to minimize their ability to, to escape you. <laughs> Another thing too is sometimes your RVs are kind of flimsy and your dogs or your cats or other animals can break windows, punch right through doors. There's this great picture. I couldn't find it though. This guy he took a picture of his RV door with the head of his dog hanging out with his tongue all happy. So depending on the size of your pets and their power, you, you got to maybe jury rig something up to keep them away from the doors and windows that they can possibly break. Uh, if you're going to be gone from your RV for extended period of time, you know, this applies more so to bigger animals like dogs. They can make noise, that can bug your neighbors, that can get you kicked out of an RV park. Something to be aware of. No yard. Uh, so when it's raining out, it's snowing out, or it's 110 degrees out, you've got to take your animals, this applies mostly to dogs or bigger animals, out to go potty. And normally that's not a big thing. But when the weather is bad, it kind of sucks. Vet issues. I haven't really researched this one too much, but um, I'm sure there's vets that will send medicines and stuff for your elderly pets. But uh, it's something you got to look into, and it, it could be an issue. Um, there's some regulations with certain RV parks now. They're getting more stringent on types of, types of breeds of dogs or certain pets they'll allow in. So you need to research that as you travel, and some issues there. Hot, cold, and a little bit of noise mitigation here. Um, you know, if you've lived in an RV, you know that, you know, your furnaces can go out, your ACs can go out. So you don't want to leave your pets in an RV for a long time uh, where, you know, your furnace it could go out and it could be you know 10 degrees outside 15 degrees in the rv <laughs> or you know 90 outside 110 in the rv that's really not good so one way to mitigate the threat of them suffering while you're gone or making too much noise too so you can try to take action is there's monitoring systems you can buy that work over cellular networks um to monitor you know your pads you can scream at them remotely and stuff too if they're too loud but you can get the temperature and stuff like that um this applies to cats litter boxes are kind of a bummer uh in a smaller space devoting space specifically for litter or taking up a couple shelves or however you want to want to handle it uh, just takes a takes up space and it's gross um so you got to keep on top of it a little bit more than, say, if you were in a stick and brick house. So those are a lot of negatives, just so you can think about that. Um, here's some positive points, though. I mean, like with larger animals like dogs, you have security. Or if a criminal is trying to break into your RV and your dogs go crazy, they'll probably bail and go for easier targets. Same applies with your stuff immediately surrounding the RV. So that's going to be a good thing. Uh, companionship, you know, the standard issues why you'd have dogs, cats, or other type of pets, they all apply the same. I mean, your RV is your home, so same concepts. Heat, if you live in a cold area and you're either trying to save money by not using as much heat or um, your heat goes out having some, 
dogs in your bed or a cat on your lap. And they provide a heat source for you. Um, another thing, too, is even though it can be negative, like the new y no yard point here about going outside, um, generally it's pets getting you outside, doing a little exercise, meeting people while you're walking them and stuff is a good thing. So that applies to the RV life as well. So these are just some quick points to ponder uh, if you're thinking about taking the plunge or if you've already taken the plunge into the RV life world and thinking about getting pets, you know. Again, no strong opinion other than treat them as members of your family. And uh, anyway, happy RVing.